Welcome to today's video. I am right now in Sergal, Philippines on one of the, let's say, most photogenic streets, but also the reason I came out here today is because I have this bad boy here with me. So I've been taking a few photos, actually met a girl who was doing photos here too. Places, I've seen her passing by, she was doing photos and we did like a shootout here. It's a little bit dangerous with the vans, but yeah, on the Instagram. Check it out. We did it. What was your name again? Rafaela. Rafaela, I'm Danny. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sure she got some good pics too. I definitely did. And for today, I will be doing, let's say, a little bit of a calmer day, but also talk to you about how I personally, let's say, keep up with a certain productivity in stressful times, in times where there's not a lot of routine, in times where there's a lot of things going on. And obviously with me right now, full time traveling, living a nomadic lifestyle, living a month here, a month there, a week there, moving around a lot, I really need to implement, let's say, systems and different ways of approaching everything that I do to actually get things done, to actually feel like I'm getting ahead and making a difference and, uh, uh, yeah, that's what I want to talk to you about today. First thing is gonna be the gym, that's where we headed right now. Great, and let me break down to you so far the past few mornings that I have been here. First of all, the moment I found the gym, I was like, hey, I'm gonna be going there for at least um, the time that I'll be here, most of the time, because usually you don't really find good gyms in, uh, let's say, small islands like that. So that gym, even though it looks, let's say, very raw, and it is, it has everything you need, everything is oiled up, and I love that. It is the Shergao, oh no, Surfit Shergao. And what I've been doing for the past few days, luckily I've got into the groove of actually doing that, is waking up at 5 a.m. Something that I used to really love doing. Why? Because as of right now, let me look at the time. We have 11 a.m. This morning, I left my place from 5.30 or something like that. Got a few shots with a motorbike that I rented for 24 hours after shooting with it yesterday. Um, I got some shots with dad, got some photos, met some people, and right now we have 11 a.m. The workout is done. So. Going from here, right now I probably will be meeting someone uh, for uh, breakfast, so I'm gonna hang out a little bit. And then, maybe like 1 p.m. to 5, I'll have a window to just sit down. And usually, like if I'm, let's say, living a more loose lifestyle, and especially if I move around, it's sometimes hard to get enough sleep in, which is absolutely essential. Um, I get my day going at like 11 or 12. And I also get to maybe do something on my laptop at 1 p.m but I feel like I haven't done anything. I feel like I was not able to enjoy the island, not able to enjoy the experience. And right now, it feels very different. It feels already I lived through the whole day. We're just starting. Alrighty guys, it's a little late right now. Just had lunch, doing intermittent fasting as in the past few days. It will feel good. It's 1 p.m. right now, so in the morning, amazing focus, amazing workout, having some coffee with it. And um, as of right now, it's 1 p.m., I'm full, I had a big meal. And you see, I've been going to the same place for um, four days now, pretty much almost every day when I just wanna get food, unless I've been cooking. And in my Airbnb right now, I also have a kitchen, so I'll be doing that as well. And the reason for that is like, if I actually want to explore, if I actually want to, let's say, have an experience, meet people, and just, uh, let's say, have a good time, then I would like consider going to new places, checking out restaurants, maybe really enjoying the food. But with every decision that you make, like let's say going to a coffee shop, going to this restaurant, um, it can be a lot of fun, but if you actually, let's say, want to get into doing something, you, you might waste a lot of time, first of all, a lot of time choosing the place, and second of all, decision fatigue just in general then 
when you have to make the important decision, so not when traveling, but actually day to day. So today, today's video is really me sharing how I live my day to day. And I think um, these concepts I always applied also in my regular life when I haven't been moving around as much. So basically really focusing on optimizing some things. So whenever I get to a place, I look for a place where I can get uh, my food, just like you know, an affordable place, maybe like street food or something like that, or here like at the local uh, grill, amazing. And uh, yeah, here at the market I got some pineapple, and as of right now we will be heading to a coffee store that I already passed by a few times, looks good. So that's where I'm gonna sit down. Alrighty, cruising around right now, and uh, this guy has like, some of the sickest drone shots. He has been hitting me up on Instagram, and I was like, "Hey, stop by the cafe." And how often, like, did we drive by already? Like three, four times or yeah. something. <laughs> like, I'm seeing this guy like fully tattooed. I'm like, I, th I think that's the guy. Okay, so as of right now, doing a little bit of a break. Obviously, to you, it seems I've been just like a second in there, but uh, yeah, spend uh, two hours at the spotted peak. And I, actually, I left my stuff there, so I'll be going back in a second. And uh, yeah, to share with you, like my approach, definitely really hard to not have like one working space. This is what I mean again with like decision fatigue. I have to decide where I'll go, so I usually tend to go to the same place. This place actually might be my become my staple place. Um, and once I get into actually doing something, one of my rules is, and I unfortunately don't always follow it, is to get done some of the most important things right away. So uh, don't do like, let's say, productive procrastination, which would be like, oh yeah, let me like, you know, do some organizational work. Let me like organize the footage so it's actually nice. Or let me like actually, you know, I don't know, look through emails of advertisement like you're sort of busy but like one of the most important things get them done first if i know for example i need to answer some emails do that first if i know it's time to edit a video do that first set it to upload and then check through the other emails and then check through um, anything else that you need to do as well but i do have to honestly say sometimes like yeah i need to book flights I need to book, uh, I need to organize this trip. And then you go on Airbnb and you start browsing for hours. What type of accommodation I could be staying at? So I really try to avoid that. I try to do that at the end. All right, I guess we're like right now two, three hours in. The Wi-Fi actually started to be faster all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. I'm a happy man, so I ordered myself a Cortado coffee. They told me it's stronger than a flat white. And we're hanging here right now with Chris over here. Hello, so, you have been on the island for like a month, you said? Two months. Two months now. So this guy knows the island. So we're right now considering to do a uh, boat trip tomorrow to get the drone up, to get some nice shots. But the weather might not play in it. So might happen, might not. Will then on another day. And uh, yeah, I need to book right now flights. I don't have home for tomorrow. So that is the situation. But the video is done. So it is the next morning right now. Got the scooter, got down to the beach, hitting up the 5 a.m. Really installing the habit faster and faster. Feeling good, feeling great. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's little more of a, let's say, productive insight video this is the stuff that i do in a more raw format on my second channel so if you don't know it yet you're very welcome to check it out and uh, yeah what can i say this is a video that is not necessarily a travel video obviously the setting is very let's say uncommon to talk about topics like productivity effectiveness structure but especially for anyone i think these tips are applicable to any life situation and um, for everyone who wants to live a similar lifestyle I actually work with a few people right now helping them to build out their channel and this is something 
that you really have to keep in mind while everybody is on vacation, while everybody is, you know, be like, hey, let's go out, let's do this, let's that. You have to keep in mind, or let's say I have to keep in mind, that this is my day-to-day -day life, which is absolutely amazing. But with that, you have to do some shortcuts, some sacrifices. You have to have, let's say, a sort of stronger attitude uh, and uh, just do your thing and not be just drawn in by everybody. So with that, I hope you are getting ahead as well. As always, you're welcome to reach out to me, email, Instagram, damn, I'm on, on these rocks right now here. And I'm looking very much forward to seeing you in the next video. So with that, you got a role to see, and I'm out.